Welcome back to the workshop guys. I've just finished a few commissions for clients and I delivered something this morning. So I've got a bit of time now to get back onto the rack for my truck. So let's start making some sparks.
These little pieces here are just some stainless steel nuts that I've ground the corners off and I decided to weld these in just to try and reduce any surface rust on the threads over time. I decided that I wanted a bit of extra length on the bracket for the uprights of the rack. So here you can see me welding on a new portion and also filling up that third bolt hole which I'll relocate into the new plate. As you can probably tell here the welds are looking pretty ugly. I ran out of gas in my welder and decided to give some gasless wire a go. But the welds seem to come out really splattery and not as clean as I'd like. For this purpose it was fine, but for future projects where everything needs to come out clean, I'll definitely go back to welding with gas. Now I have the hole location for where I need to put the insert. So I'm just going to drill through here and use this bracket as a guide. Okay, so I've got the third mounting hole welded in and now I'm just going to run the tap through both of those holes just to make sure nothing has gotten stuck in the threads when I was welding them in. Then we can get on to the next step. So I just bought this rubber doormat and I'm going to cut some strips out of it which I'm just going to use as buffers for these brackets here because I want a layer of something between these two pieces just to prevent that paint from getting messed up when it's all bolted together. The little pads cut now. So let's bolt these down to the rest of the assembly and see how it all looks. Here's the setup I've got going on with these uprights. They're just sitting there at the moment with these little magnets holding them in place. Portions are looking very similar to the original portion of the rack, which is great. So now we're ready to tack those uprights on and then we'll get to the cross beam after that. these end caps all made up and put some bevels on there for welding. I've also beveled the ends of the crossbar. So now these guys are ready to get welded on. You can 
see it's nice and level with the front of the rack, which is awesome. So now I can tack it together. main structure is all done now. The only thing I've got left to do is fit the plastic to the top of this cross beam. That just means tapping a few screw holes down the beam. I'm just gonna pull the whole thing off and get rid of any weld splatter. You can see those little spots everywhere. Just get all that filed off, everything nice and smooth before you head to paint. So you saw me make these little spaces and these are just to go in between the deck liner and those threaded holes that are in the tray. Just because there's a gap in there, I don't want those bolts to have any play in them. I want it to be nice and rigid. So these give it a nice solid fixing point to bolt to. So that's the rack complete. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's really solid, which is fantastic. So I can't wait to start cutting some timber on this thing. So thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. In the next video, I'll be getting back to some woodworking. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you then.